My biggest frustration in bioinformatics is inconsistent naming between databases and systems, especially gene names and IDs across annotations. One of the biggest challenges in bioinformatics for me is dealing with too many tools. In fields like single cell biology, tools are published almost every day and it's really hard to sift through all of them. My biggest frustration is tools are not often user friendly. Hard to install, hard to decode, and most importantly, they lack commitment towards proper documentation, future updates, and end user support. My biggest frustration is missing metadata from genomics files. For instance, the popular BED and GTF file formats don't contain the genome assemblies that they're relative to. This can cause a lot of wasted time when trying to track the information down, or worse yet, invalidate analyses. Chromosome 1 versus CHR1 versus 1. I was using a package written in C. It worked well for a small data set, but for my case, after two weeks, the output was segmentation fault. Uh, and what I find most frustrating about but What? Oh, why? Oh. Hi, my name is Michael Schatz from Johns Hopkins University. I'm one of the program directors for ANVIL, the NHGRI Genomic Data Science Analysis, Visualization, and Informatics lab space. Over my career, I've faced many of these same frustrations as you, and I'm pleased to announce the development of ANVIL as a potential solution for many of them. ANVIL is a scalable and interoperable computing resource for the genomics community. It uses a cloud-based infrastructure so that it is highly elastic, supporting shared analysis and large-scale computing over even the largest data sets. Through this infrastructure, we have strong capabilities for data access and security, including the ability to share and analyze protected data sets using dbGaP credentials. Finally, and most importantly, Anvil is a collaborative environment featuring many of the analysis tools and resources that you already use. Today, the major components of Anvil include Terra for workspaces and batch computing, Gen3 for sophisticated data modeling and querying, DocStore for sharing containerized tools and workflows, plus R, Bioconductor, Jupyter Notebooks, and Galaxy for highly interactive computing and data analysis. There are also many ways to extend Anvil to include additional tools and capabilities that we don't currently offer. Ultimately, our goal is to invert the model for genomic data sharing so that rather than forcing everyone to download huge genomic data sets, we can build a common platform that anyone can access and use anywhere. Let me now hand it off to a couple of our early users to hear about what Anvil has done for them. Uh, so hello, I'm Ginger Metcalf from the Human Genome Sequencing Center at Baylor College of Medicine. I'm currently serving as the chair of the data flow working group for the Centers for Common Disease Genomics. And it's just, it's very time consuming to try to pull all those data together and aggregate them and QC them and then, and then push them to one central location for, for analysis. Hi, my name is Karen Mega. I'm the director of the Human Pan Genome Project that's the production center at UC Santa Cruz. Um, essentially, what we're aiming to do is diversify the human reference genome to ensure that we can really represent humanity and more comprehensively call variation. In doing so, we've partnered with the Anvil platform. This has been really a cornerstone for our effort to ensure that we can share, uh, make all of our data sets public facing, um, as well as to ensure reproducibility with a lot of our workflows and pipelines and to create an, an environment or an ecosystem for future researchers to use the same tools and same developments that we've used for our project going forward. Which will be phase three, which will be about um, well over 100,000 genomes for CCDG. And so fortunately, we've been able to leverage the Anvil platform, being able to utilize the Anvil in this way where we can push, you know, push the data pretty much in real time will be really helpful to um, facilitate data, data sharing both with our internal uh, CCDG investigators as well as the um, other investigators outside of the, the CCDG programs. For more information, please visit the Anvil portal at anvilproject.org. Finally, I'd like to thank all of the great collaborators on the Anvil team. We couldn't have done this without all your support. Thank you. Ox said, Fred, Bed, don't forget, Khan said, Inhale scripts can install, hit my informatics wall, fast Q files repeats, multiploy can't sleep, crash and burn, lost my screen, too many dependencies.